Welcome back everyone. Um, today, just getting my morning feeding done. Um, it's a really good day today. First day it's going to be um, over 60 degrees in the last week or so. Um, it's been pretty cold and wet. So I've got 11 calves and also have cats that think the milk is for them. But anyway, I'm just gonna get all this mixed up and start feeding. Okay, so as you can see, these two are actually together now. Um, main reason being, <laughs> after I put them in here, I didn't have this wired to this post at all. Somehow I managed to forget that, and so it was just, uh, um, it was just sitting there. And the next morning I came out here, and both of these calves were out in the middle of our yard, and luckily they didn't manage to go anywhere else but um they were just in the yard having fun and they followed me right back in so um this guy's having trouble today i normally don't use bottle holders on them so this is probably why but so yes they are together and i'm supposed to be picking some more up today if you saw the title of this video and he's really struggling. Come on. There we go. Um, and yeah, so we're going to have quite a bit coming, hopefully. Um, at least more than two. Um, so yeah, they're going to be pretty close to the same age as these. So what I'm going to try to do is at least get a group pin going and start using another, start using the milk bar again. Um, and then, uh, you know, that will make feeding time a lot shorter and yeah there won't be nine in there or eight but um i'd rather sit there and watch um five of them drink at one time than have to wait like this for each and every calf i have so um i'll make sure they all get their milk and we'll see i may um may pick up some more here pretty quick so i may be getting eight or nine in this group pen but 
Um, the pin will be 11 by, let's see, 11 by 16, I think, I believe. Could be wrong, but. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a pretty big pin. They'll have plenty of room to do what they want to do. Um, and yeah. Well guys, I am off, um, as you can tell I'm in a different truck today, uh, the white truck. Uh, someone else is using it today so I had to use this gas hog, uh, which is why I normally don't use it. But um, hopefully those arms will hold it on, I don't know of any other way to hold it on. But I'm checking to make sure it stays the whole time anyway. But now I've got a, I don't know, hour drive, hour long drive to go pick up those calves. And, um, uh, And the farmer actually just called me and he said he now has four calves. Two of them are 24 hours old and um, the other two are four days old. But he said the two that are 24, he's gonna give them some extra colostrum right before I pick them up. So they'll have all that for sure. Um, he said they've already been on the cow for a full day. So um, not too worried, but anyway, going to pick those up. And just to let you guys know, um, and if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I listen to quite a few podcasts, um, especially um, agricultural podcasts. Um, doesn't just have to be about cows, but uh, currently I'm listening to the Working Cows podcasts and really enjoying them. Um, he has quite a few guests on the show that I've enjoyed hearing from and Anyway, go check him out if you guys want to, um, if you guys want to see some more or listen to some more, um, good information about, I don't know, just cattle in general and, um, some new practices going on and all that, so, um, but also if you guys have any recommendations on podcasts to listen to, um, I haven't found that many good, um, podcast at least about cows or small ruminants anything like that so if you guys have any recommendations please please leave those down below i do a lot of driving and i can only listen to the radio for so long so um so yeah leave a recommended podcast down below um and it doesn't just have to be about agriculture just anything you guys find interesting just leave them down down below in the comments and i'll be sure to check those out and listen to a few of them so I don't know if you can see behind me, but I picked up the four calves. Yes, there were four. And um, obviously I'll give you a better look at them here in a little bit, but um, I assume there'd be one or two bulls or three bulls or something like that. And uh, he was milking when I went to pick him up, so he didn't help me load them, but, um, and he hadn't told me what they were. And there's two really, big decent sized ones and I thought those for sure would be bulls and then after I got them loaded up on here they all started peeing at the same time and they were all heifers <laughs> so I picked up four heifers um, and he was gonna give them to me for 500 total um, but I had already written the check for 600 150 piece which is what we agreed on um, but he said uh, 
he said two were smaller so we I should have done five but whatever um, I like his calves and he's got 13 more to calve so okay so I'm gonna give you guys a better look at these four heifers here um, first you have this with the white she has some white on her head and a little bit on her feet um, she's one of the bigger ones and then these two here in the middle the one that's standing on top of the other one um, those two are the small small ones um, which are ones that I'd be more considering keeping as cows because um, I don't want big cows um, but and then this last one who I could have swore would be a bull um, is also a heifer um, big stout calf bigger than this other one here um, but yeah four heifers pretty pleased with them they look good yes those two in the middle are kind of small um, but that's what I want in a cow they look healthy they're all these two are straight black they don't have any white on them um, she's a little bit more tan has a little brown on her um, but anyway I just got to work on calming these girls down because if I do want to keep them for cows I want them to be uh, used to me and all that so um, here's the pen I had got set up this morning these two are ready to have their new friends this guy is going to be the only dude in here it's going to be you and a bunch of girls anyway so and then I'm going to have to uh, put a board on here from this post to that post um, so I can hang the milk bar so yeah it's time to get these girls unloaded and this was kind of a major uh, problem getting these girls in here they were uh, very excited to say the least they didn't want to be in here they didn't really like me too much um, and so every time I opened this gate here they tried to get out so I'm gonna have to watch them pretty close and make sure they don't jump out on me and hit the ground so There they are, she's really heavy. Um, biggest one there. This is the older one. She was already in here. Now this one here with the white on her and the one over there in this back corner, tannish brown one. Um, those two were just pulled off their mamas. So once again, they should have had their colostrum. They've been on them. They've been on the mothers for a full day and a half now so they should, definitely should have drank but he gave me some just in case so I am going to be bottle feeding all of these uh, tonight and then I'll see I'll see if I can get them on the milk bar tomorrow sometime either in the afternoon or maybe in the morning we'll see but so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that video um, calves are still coming in as you can as you saw uh, this guy here, he's getting weaned soon. He's going out. Um, he's also not far behind. And then the rest, they all have a while till they're weaned. Um, yeah, I've got quite a while, especially these new ones here, which you saw pretty recently. So, um, and then that guy in the back corner, he's also the next to leave. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was probably a little bit longer, but um, I also got the tripod fixed for my camera. So that's why the videos were a little bit more uh, involved this time. 
Um, it wasn't just me talking and all that. So, um, anyway, so let, let me know, guys, what you think of the videos. If you want uh, more talking, less talking, uh, more video effects, or just the bare minimum. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. And if you're new here, please subscribe. That really helps me out. And for everyone else, please like the video. That just helps the video go farther and lets more people see it. So anyway, with that being said, I will see you guys next time.